Hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Golini, and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about answering your questions, busting myths, and bringing you the truth. Anyway, I love answering your questions. Each week I just get uh, tons of uh, great questions. Hopefully I'm, I'm giving you what uh, information you need. One of the big ones has been, uh, talk about protein. You know, what are the best forms of protein? What are the best sources? How much do athletes need? Everyone's kind of got their own opinion. Um, I like to pull math into the equation. So 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight is kind of a good way to gauge how much protein do you need. I find that most people don't get in adequate amounts of protein. Remember, protein is what's building muscles. It's, an, it's important, it's crucial to your growth um, and to your sport. Now, if you're trying to gain weight, uh, 1.5 grams of protein, not at the weight you're at, but at the weight that you would like to be at. So again, just a little bit of math. Uh, maybe you might need a calculator. Um, like most of us do, but that's kind of a good rule of thumb to uh, determine how much protein. Now, keep in mind, don't take all that protein at one or two sittings. It's better for you to eat smaller meals and space it out. So similar to a bodybuilding lifestyle, you want to have about six different protein meals a day. You know, remember, smaller amounts um, are better. Your body can only absorb so much protein. And again, kind of the rule of thumb is about, you know, 35 grams per city. Um, hope that kind of helps you with uh, determining how much protein. Now, what are the best sources? Um, obviously, leaner sources. The higher the quality of the food, the more quality of the muscle. Uh, chicken, fish, turkey are kind of your leanest sources. Uh, lean cuts of beef. Personally, I'm not a pork eater, but some guys like pork. Um, gals like pork, and I guess that's all right if you like it. But again, just kind of watch the fat intake. Um, you know, there are a lot of good protein sources from, you know, nuts and grains and things. Um, some of them aren't complete proteins, so be careful to make sure they are complete proteins. If you use soy, it's missing methionine, so make sure that you add that to your diet. Um, I'm also a big fan of whey protein uh, concentrates uh, and isolates. So, for most people, it's hard to eat six meals a day, so you can drink uh, a few of your meals. Uh, I tell a lot of people to eat your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then in between those is where you would take a protein drink so that about every two and a half to three hours, you're getting some protein in. Most of the proteins are great. Be careful of the cheap ones that are selling in the big box. Uh, right now, there's a lot of protein spiking and a lot of class action lawsuits. We're gonna talk about that a little bit in a, a another episode. Uh, so stick to more uh, uh, brands that you've heard of, that you know about, um, and the ones that aren't in any of the class action lawsuits. Anyway, my email address is at the bottom of the screen. Love answering your questions. We'll uh, talk to you next time.